The daylight factor is kind of a metric, but let's take a closer look at it. Your daylight factor is a daylight availability metric that expresses a, as a percentage the amount of daylight available inside the room on a working plane compared to the amount of unobstructed daylight available outside under overcast sky conditions. So in literature, it's defined this way. But how we can define that? It's basically a metric that takes a look at the daylight availability. If there's no obstruction, it will get 100%. If there are some sort of obstructions such as like uh, context buildings, shadings, etc., etc., it will get according. And we can find its recipe here under uh, honeybee radiance recipes and its daylight factor. So we'll be using the very same model that we've been using. So I can copy this and copy another one of this. Push these two down. Okay. And connect it over here. And the grid filter, we don't need that. And we just run this analysis, right? Pull out a LB toggle. Okay, and this is pretty pretty straightforward and also maybe I can preview this off right? and run this and we see like we go through this there's nothing to worry about on these ends as well. So we run this. It's relatively straightforward and I hope it's like it's a bit faster than the other analysis. Uh, but again, like we have 1,794 points here. So this means we are, uh, yeah, you see, it's four off. Yeah, high CPU usage detected. So let me, let me pause the recording for a second here. And we are back. Like it takes like 43 seconds. And for the results, we'll be, do, we'll be doing this same similar thing. But let's grab the average for a second because this is important and it's basically taking a lot of like information about the percentage. You may think this is super low, but actually it's not super low because the daylight like daylight factor is uh, being used to have like average daylight factor is being used to define uh, some sort of daylight metric in a room or in some space and these are actually are now being regulated by different governments so based on different locations on the world you, you may need to achieve some results of average daylight factor so average is quite important here median is not that important so you don't need to worry about that it's a statistical term but yeah then how we are going to visualize this right and we will be using the same. Uh, we'll be using the same kind of uh, approach here to view for the visualization, but we'll be taking a closer look on how we are going to make that happen. For that, uh, will be. I'll show you in the next video.